This video is a follow-up to my recent video getting ready for the end of Windows 10 support. Are you prepared? There is a link to this video in the description and at the end of this video. In this video I will present another option for continuing with Windows 10 called micropatching. Micropatching replaces the need for upgrading to Windows 11 or the cost of the hardware upgrades or buying a new PC. Let me start by saying that this video is not sponsored by Zero Patch and I did not receive payment in any form for this video. Okay, let's get to it. This whole tech stuff. So what is micropatching? Micropatching is a cutting edge cybersecurity technique designed to deliver small targeted patches to software vulnerabilities in real time typically a few lines of code, without requiring full software updates or system restarts, unlike traditional patching. This method addresses critical security flaws swiftly, often before traditional vendors can issue official patches. Origins and development. The concept of micropatching emerged as a response to the challenges posed by the traditional patching process, which can be both slow and cumbersome, especially for zero-day vulnerabilities and other critical security issues. The term and practice gained prominence around 2014, when cybersecurity experts Mitya Kolshak and Stanka Shalamun founded Zero Patch a company specialising in this innovative approach. How Zero Patch can impact Windows 10 end of life. As many of you know, especially those who watched my previous video, Microsoft will officially stop providing updates and security patches for Windows 10 after October the 14th, 2025. This means that without proper security measures in place, users and businesses may face increased risks from vulnerabilities that emerge post end of life. So what are the benefits of using Zero Patch? Number one, continuous security updates. Zero Patch allows users to receive security patches for Windows 10 beyond its end of life date, safeguarding against new vulnerabilities and threats. Number two, minimal disruption. Micropatching by Zero Patch is designed to be seamless and non-disruptive to daily operations, ensuring that systems remain operational while staying protected. Number three, flexibility and customization. Users can choose which patches to apply based on their specific needs and environment, offering flexibility in managing updates without the constraints of traditional patch cycles. Number four, cost effectiveness. Compared to the time costs associated with upgrading to Windows 11 or migrating to Linux, Zero Patch offers a more economical solution that extends the life of existing hardware and software investments. There are three versions of Zero Patch available. The difference between the free and paid versions is covered later in this video. The free version is for personal, non-profit, educational and testing use. At the time of making this video, the price of the pro version of Zero Patch is €24.95 or 27 US dollars per year per PC. And the cost of the enterprise version is €34.95 or 38 US dollars per year per PC. The difference between the free and paid versions. When a micro patch is released, Zero Patch decides if it will only be offered to users with a Zero Patch Pro or Enterprise license, or also to users of the free version. A micro patch offered only to the Zero Patch Pro or Enterprise license holders is called a Pro Patch, otherwise, it is called a free patch. While decisions will be made on a per case basis, here are some rough guidelines. Number one, patches for vulnerabilities affecting predominantly home users and users in educational institutions will be free patches. Number two, patches for zero day vulnerabilities that affect many home or educational users 
or for zero day vulnerabilities that are being exploited in a massive global attack will be free patches for a period of time, usually one month, or until official vendor fixes for the zero day vulnerability is issued, at which time the patch will become a pro patch. In the event that an official vendor patch does not become available, the patch will become a pro patch. Number three, patches for issues affecting predominantly organizations, e.g. Windows Server issues, will generally be classed as pro patches. Number four, patches for end of life products, such as legacy Windows 10 versions, will generally be categorized as a pro patch with possible exceptions according to number one or number two. With this in mind, I will personally be choosing the pro version. Benefits compared to other options. Windows 11 upgrade. While upgrading to Windows 11 provides comprehensive support and features, it requires compatible hardware and potential compatibility issues with existing software and peripherals. Migrating to Linux. Switching to Linux offers robust security and ongoing community support, but involves a learning curve for users accustomed to Windows environments, potentially requiring retraining and adjustments in workflow. Installing Ubuntu Linux on one of my development PCs caused me a lot of headaches trying to get three monitors to work with it. Having said that, there was a lot of willing support from the Ubuntu community, but converting is definitely not for the faint of heart. Conclusion Zero Patch offers a compelling solution for individuals and businesses seeking to maintain the security of Windows 10 beyond its end of life date. By leveraging micro patching technology, they provide a cost effective and efficient way to mitigate security risks without the disruption or expense of migrating to newer operating systems. This makes Zero Patch an attractive option for organizations looking to extend the life of their Windows 10 investments while prioritizing cybersecurity. If you choose to go down the route of micropatching, I would recommend the installation of a reputable virus scanner after the end of life date of Windows 10. For more on Zero Patch, you can visit their website at zeropatch.com. So what are your thoughts on this method? I would be interested to hear your opinions in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe as it will really help the channel to grow. And please do feel free to leave a comment as I take the time to read all posted comments. See you soon.